Nelson, what you got there? Some really hard to put on shoes. Oh man. <sighs> that was a mission. Yeah, you just gotta stomp your foot in there, dude. I swear it's like the worst innovation ever. What's good y'all? So the NBA playoffs have started and Nike always brings out the elite basketball series for their superstars such as Kobe, LeBron, and KD. So for today's sneaker review, it features the KD8. And joining in on today's review, I have my fellow Hooper friend, Kevin Lau. Hey, what's up guys? Alright Kev, so first initial thoughts, what do you think of these? What the heck is this? Yo, what, what, are, what is Nike thinking? Honestly, bro, like, like yo. No, I'm not I'm not digging this at all. You're not digging the compression sleeve, bro? Alright, think of it this way. At least it's not the knee-high one KD wore. Have you seen that? I've seen those, you know. Nike and KD on a new level of tackiness. So my first initial thought, you know, first thing that caught my eye was the calf sleeve. It really looks like the regular KD8, you know, with the exception of this. And since you have the KD8, you're gonna help us out, you know, on comparing and contrast, you know, the difference between the elites and the KD8s. All right, well, let's get into the specifics and explain this shoe in detail. Yes, sir. All right, as usual, we're gonna start off with the traction. The traction of the KD8 Elite is the same as the regular KD8s. 
It has a translucent rubber outsole that has a multi-directional traction with a hairy bone pattern. All right, so I hooped in all types of courts with this shoe. Clean course, not only dusty and super dusty course, all indoors. And I gotta say, with the traction on these, on super clean course, these stick like glue. Like, you know, literally this shoe is sticking. I got mad traction. But on Molly Dusty Quartz, these are kind of all right. You get a few wipes in there, you know, like pretty good. But on Dusty Quartz, they just attract so much dust. I'm slipping left and right. I might as well go ice skating. I probably wouldn't suggest hooping these outdoors because the tread's probably going to wear out pretty quick and you're not going to have much traction. Moving on to the cushioning. It has a Phylon foam midsole with a visible full length zoom air unit. Basically, the same setup as the regular KD8s. So with the KD8 Elite and the regular KD8, they had the same cushion setup, but for some reason the KD8 Elite had a more elevated feel off the ground. You know, the KD8 is a very low profile shoe and it's really low to the ground. I totally agree with you. I have tried on the regular KD8s in stores and I didn't really like how that arch feel felt, but um, cushioning wise, I did feel a difference. Even if I just tried on the KD8s with the Elites, I did feel like it was more elevated. You do feel a difference in terms of air cushioning in the Elites. That's for sure, yeah. As for the materials, here is where you get your upgrade. The KD8 Elite has a built-in calf length compression sleeve-like sock with an enhanced fly wire with Kevlar and aramid fiber beneath the upper. The regular KD8 is a single layer woven fly weave, which is kind of like a poor man version of a Jordan 29. All right, so with the KD8 Elite, with the different materials on the shoe, this shoe felt a lot more supportive than the regular KD8. But it did, it did feel kind of stiff. But the regular KD8, it had the fly weave and it felt really soft and like your foot felt like it was in one motion. But these, it felt like you kind of need a little bit of breaking time, but it felt more supportive. So you know, there's pros and cons to both of them. Yeah, that's for sure. It does take some time to break in. I felt like when I tied up my shoe really tight, this Kevlar piece right here and this piece, kind of constricting my ankle right here, but uh, maybe I shouldn't tie it so tight. But it's like when you walk and stuff, it like, it like presses against your foot. I got used to it overall, but uh, material wise, what I actually kind of like is the calf sleeve. I felt like, it's kind of like you're wearing like compression pants. The long sort sleeve compression. Yeah. The long sleeve compressions. Overall, it feels pretty nice around here. I, that would say, you know, it feels yeah, pretty nice Yeah, it feels pretty good it. to me too. Like in terms of like ankle support, it doesn't give you much, but it feels kind of good up here though. Yeah. yeah. All right, so with the addition of the compression sleeve, the Kevlar piece, and the Aramid fibers, you know, the lockdown was way better on the KD Elite than the regular version of KD 8s. No doubt, I would say the support and lockdown of the KD8 Elite is by far the best aspect of the shoe. We disagree, uh, that's my own opinion. It feels like the whole shoe is just like wrapped around your foot. I like the feeling of the shoe overall. You know, I feel like the support and lockdown, it really just like keeps your foot in place really good. Yeah, the crazy thing with the compression sleeve, the whole point of it is to make it like a transitional feel, like a one piece feel with your sock and your shoe. And it actually it does that really well. You know, I was kind of surprised like, my ankle and my foot felt like it was one piece. Pretty fluid. And then with this, you know, the lockdown was way better than the regular version. It has this extended padding over here that yeah. the regular KD8s do not have. It feels really good actually around, you know, your ankle bone area. Like one common problem I had with the regular KD8s was actually my foot slipped out all the time. Heel slippage. Yeah, there's a lot of heel slippage and whenever someone stepped on my shoe, like the back heel, somewhere my foot would just come out and I was like, are you serious? But you know, with this, for sure your foot is not slipping out. I guarantee you will get no heel slippage. As far as comfort and size fit, these are true to size. Caught me a 10 and a half, fit perfectly. Comfort wise, felt good. What I don't really like about this shoe in particular is that it has a pretty clunky outsole. I feel yes. like it's very stiff. It made it really hard for me to plant every time I jump. I feel like it was so stiff, like when you plant, like one stomp, it doesn't, yeah, like, I feel you it on doesn't that. plant and then tr smoothly transition up. I honestly have to say that I had a hard time uh, jumping in these, you know, when I try to plant. But overall, comfort and size fit is good. Yeah, I just really felt like when you try to plant, I felt like it was like a brick yeah. on the floor. It's like, it's as like, as y'all saw in the jumping exercises, when we were jumping, it was like, cut, 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 cut. Yeah, like, like, if you were like some old Kobe's, you know, you land soft on your feet and like, it don't make no like, like earthquake slams and stuff. Yeah, it's just like, boop, boop. It was just kind of like hard and clunky. As far as pricing for the KD8s, $200. Damn, 200 Honestly, you do feel a difference in the performance of these shoes, but at $200 and these just came out, there is plenty of other options because in the KD8, almost every single colorway is on sale at your local Foot Locker or Nike. You can find, find them on sale for $100. Unless y'all are ballers, y'all cop whatever the heck you want, you know, whatever you like, that's on you. 
All right, so for my overall rating on a KD8 Elite, I would give these an eight out of 10 because it's a pretty solid performance shoe. I love the responsiveness on these. You know, the air cushioning was great. The support and lockdown was great. What deducted points for these was the total clunkiness of the shoe. I felt like it wasn't flexible enough for me. I felt like these were kind of brick-like. A little bit, yeah. Brick-like kicks. If you were to kick somebody with this outsole, man, you could really hurt. Hey, you could really hurt them, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so for my overall rating, I'll give these an 8 out of 10 also, but if these shoes are easier to put on, I'll give these an 8.5 out of 10. Literally, these shoes took like 5 minutes to put on. I'm not trying to spend 5 minutes trying to put on my shoe, because be, that 5 minutes I can use that working on my game, you know? Who the hell, Barbara? God damn it, Mochi. Thank you guys for watching that sneaker review on the KD8 Elite. Shout out to my boy Kevin La. Let us know down in the comments below, what do you guys think of the KD8 Elite? Do you like them? Would you cop them? And if you do like them, how well did it perform for you? Would you recommend it for others? Make sure to watch the video over here, over here. And then until next time, guys, we out. Peace. Peace.